And welcome back. Mzanile Maingi has announced that he is joining the Economic Freedom Fighters. In a statement, Maingi says that he is leaving the African Transformation Movement. He has voiced his intention to act as a bridge between uh, the ATM and the EFF in the hope to help the parties collaborate. He now joins us via Zoom. Mzanile Maingi, good morning and thank you so much for making time for us. Tell us about the rationale behind this decision to leave the ATM and go to the EFF. Uh, yeah, uh, good morning, uh, Eldrin and, and, and your viewers. I think the situation is quite urgent and pressing in South Africa uh, that we will rescue the, the state from the deterioration and uh, the imminent uh, uh, collapse uh, uh, of the state. The state is busy failing right now. So every responsible person should now be part of whatever action it is to ensure that we rescue the situation. EFF is well poised to be that kind of a force and uh, to be able to, to bring to a halt the deterioration that is happening, the amount of corruption uh, that this government is, 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 has engaged in, the misrule that the country is going, is going through, the reverse gear on industrialization that this country has engaged in, all of that needs to be corrected. And for that to happen, you need an organization that has got capacity to do this, an organization that has got the interests of the people at heart, an organization that is not afraid, a, 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 an organization that has got a, a revolutionary posture. That's what you need. So I would be uh, calling on everyone, professionals in particular, to come to the EFF to make their contribution in order to ensure that South Africa is a better country. Yeah. Don't you think that the ATM also has that, considering that uh, you were the chief policy um, officer there? Yeah, uh, yes indeed. ATM can also play that role, but uh, there's no argument about the size of ATM versus uh, uh, EFF. Uh, and they were, I wish ATM well in its endeavors. ATM is doing absolutely nothing wrong. It's just that right now the, the situation is pressing. Yeah. It's quite urgent that we sort out the country. And right now the EFF is involved in all levels of government to ensure that there's accountability. I mean, if you look at the mess happening in Elkurulin as an example, where some hundred odd trucks that are in the asset register of the state, but what can be accounted for, barely so even, it's about 30. So as we speak here and now, there is some definitely over 70 trucks that have been paid for by the Ekurulene municipality, but are nowhere to be found. Now, it's only an EFF that has got that kind of capacity to deal with these things. And I would be asking the EFF to check whether what else is happening everywhere else in the country. So I really think that uh, the, 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 the posture of the EFF uh, around the uh, accountability issues and where it's placed right now, the EFF can get what needs to happen here and now. That's what needs to happen. That's what revolution is about. Revolution is about things happening here and now, not some long drawn out process of 100 years. We don't have 100 years. We've got to fix South Africa here and now. And the only organization that can do that is the EFF. And I'll be on road shows across the country calling on all professionals to join me in this force to make sure that we help the EFF to achieve. If EFF achieves, the entire country achieves. This is a non-racial organization. This is an organization that is against neo-colonialism. This is an organization that is going to ensure that South Africa retains its sovereignty. Right now, South Africa is a puppet state, and it's only the EFF that can get South Africa out of being a puppet state uh, so that the people of South Africa must inform the program of action of South Africa. And the vehicle to do that here and now is the EFF. Uh, so, so when you speak about taking on roadshows, where did you get this mandate from? Because in your statement, you only say that you joined the EFF as a rank and file member. So who gave you the mandate to go on to roadshows? Yeah, no, look, yeah as, as, as a ground force of the EFF, it's something that uh, you do as a ground force. What's your contribution? The, 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 what is in the EFF constitution is to grow the EFF. So what gives you the mandate is the constitution of the EFF. I'm not here to be clamoring for positions. I'm here to work. And my work is going to make sure that people understand the policies and programs of the EFF. The constitution has mandated me of the EFF. 
that I must go and mobilize professionals to join the EFF. That is the mandate I'm, I'm given by the constitution of the EFF. I'm not going to be in the EFF and just be, uh, 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 what to call it, a floating trophy, uh, to just uh, some floating deadwood. I'm here to work. And I'm here, and I know I'm here with a purpose. And my purpose is to hit the streets of South Africa. My purpose is to mobilize professionals is to mobilize communities, is to mobilize business. Business in South Africa must understand that there is not going to be any government formed in South Africa next year that is not going to involve the EFF. If you know what is in, the, in your best interest, it's time to get closer to the EFF and persuade the EFF this way or that way, hear the EFF out and all of yeah. that.